Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I would try to get back into the swing of things with a weekend vlog. Um, so this is Saturday and I'm just getting ready to go to town um, doing my hair. So I thought I would show um, the Dyson a wrap because I bought this as a Christmas gift and the past probably two months solid maybe I have been using it so when I unboxed it in December and I used it I was like um, don't think I'm gonna be a fan so I put it down for probably a month and didn't touch it again but I picked it back up maybe a month later in February probably and it's pretty much all I've been using on my hair. Um, I have not been using my flat iron, which is huge for me because my hair is naturally straight, but it is pretty frizzy if I just blow dry it. I have to straighten it. And my hairline, I have like really um, not the best hairline, and I always would have to use my flat iron on those pieces a lot. Um, and I have not done that in probably a month and a half, if not two months at this point. So that is pretty exciting. Um, so my hair does not hold a curl. So the Dyson Airwrap, it really don't hold a curl. Um, it looks like it's going to, but it does fall out. Um, but it still leaves my hair with a look that is very... Um, pretty I think it looks like a blowout honestly I've never had a blowout at a salon before um, but I just I really like the way that it makes my hair look and I feel like it is a lot healthier for my hair um, it does get very hot but uh, you probably can't tell in these shots but there is a cool shot button on here and um, I'm pushing, that's if you see me pushing up the switch, that is the cool shot um, because this does get really hot. So, but that is kind of my short and sweet thoughts on the Dyson Air app here. I'm just switching to the other side. So I switch the little thing at the top of the barrel to make the air go the other way so it'll go away from my face. Um, but yeah, that is kind of the short and sweet on the Dyson Air Wrap for now. sometimes spray a texturizing spray or a um, flexible old hairspray so like I said it doesn't really hold all day but it does help it just to kind of have a little something there um, I've changed things up on this day so I use my Olaplex oil after I typically put that hair on my hair when it's wet straight out of the shower um, but I changed things up a little bit today and I used um, the Color Wow. I don't know what it's called. I'll show it here in just a second. And it, I just, I don't like it. I keep trying to like that product. It's supposed to make your hair super shiny. Um, but I just don't think it is for my hair. And I absolutely love my Olaplop. Olaplex number six and number seven when my hair is wet. So here it is, the Color Wow. Um, I think it's called Dream Coat or something. I sprayed that on my hair when it was wet and I just, it, it doesn't work. I've been trying. Um, and then that is the Living Proof Flex hairspray that I will use sometimes on my hair. And I do like that um, because it's not super crunchy. And super stiff it just gives it a little something
Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, I went to town after I got ready. I did a few chores here at the house and then I went and picked up my grocery order from Walmart. If you're not doing grocery pickup, you need to consider it. <laughs> I started doing it in December-ish, I think. And I absolutely love it. I go to Walmart. Um, it is truly a game changer. So, um, I just wanted to go to a local boutique and just pick up a couple of candles because I haven't had any in a while. Um, they have Tyler candles there and I've started buying those and I really like them. And for the price, it's, um, they're not too, too expensive. Like this one here is a 11 ounce and it is $15, um, but the quality, like they, they smell really strong and this one is called Bless Your Heart. I don't think I've had this one. It's a newer one, I think. I don't know that they have the notes on their candles. Um, I don't guess they do. But it smells good. And I got one more. This is the biggest size that they have um, at the store I go to anyway. It's 22 ounces. And this one is $22 basically. So, um, and this scent is Regal. And it is my favorite. It smells so, so good. Um, it smells exactly like the Sol de Janeiro number 68 that I love to wear. I have like the body wash and the body lotion in that. Also smells very similar to the Ariana Grande um, cloud perfume that I wear. So if you like that scent family, you would like the Regal candle from Tyler. So I was wanting a candle so bad last week that with my grocery order, I put in like those cheapo Glade candles from Walmart. Um, I got like a two pack of those because I wanted a candle so bad. I haven't had any in so long. Um, but I got, I get to feeling kind of wasteful with candles because the container, you throw it away. I mean, I know you can, um, get the wax out by putting it in, putting it in the freezer and all that jazz but I mean you can't keep every single candle container so I haven't been buying as many candles lately for, for that reason because I feel kind of wasteful when I'm throwing out the glass container but I just love a candle so um, I also got a new Pura refill for my Pura I got one it's been several months ago and I haven't changed out the scent since I've gotten it. Um, where I went today, they had a very, very limited um, selection of refills. So I just got one and it's called New Home. Um, it smelled pretty good. So I thought I would give it a try. Jasmine, cedarwood, that's a top notes, middle notes, lime, sandalwood, ace notes. Um, some kind of a moss and musk. So, I thought that smelled pretty good. So, I'll get that changed out today. And then, just one last thing. I got some of the Glamour Wash. Um, this is like, um, referred to as bougie laundry detergent. Um, so, I've had this before. I think it was in Regal. I'll have to look. I think it's actually in the empties container. I have a huge thing of empties I need to film. <laughs> I might try and do that tomorrow. We'll see. But I was really torn on if I even liked this when I had it the first time. I wasn't like crazy, crazy about it, but I wanted to try it again. Something I want to do is I want to wash my curtains like in the living room and the dining room because of the dogs, like especially the one by the dining um, room, they are constantly on those curtains and their hair gets stuck to them, to the curtains. 
and I washed them a couple months ago, probably for the first time, but I want to wash them in this, and that might make the house smell like this, maybe, um, especially like being on the hot windows whenever it's a nice hot sunny day, but anyways, so I got the smaller container. Um, this is expensive for laundry detergent, so they do have like the big old, they have a big old size of it. Um, but if you don't live somewhere that sells this, you can get this online. Just go to tylercandlecompany.com. I think that's probably what their website is. Well, it's actually on the back of this, just tylercandles.com. And you can get some of this. They even have in the store, they have like this little baby size of a few cents and it's like ten dollars this is basically twenty one dollars for this size um again crazy i've never been into like the bougie um, laundry washes detergents because there's a lot of them these days but um i thought that i would give this one another go and one last thing i forgot to mention is i got one of these little headbands for washing your face um I mean, how hideous is that, honestly? But I thought it would be nice um, for whenever I'm washing my face because I do have like one of those, it's like a circle headband that I've worn for like a long time. I've got it from Ulta, I've had two of them now. Um, but I just thought that this would be a little bit easier to put on, honestly, instead of having to put that one over my head. Um, but that is my little boutique haul for this Saturday. Um, I hadn't been in a while, so I wanted to go um, and especially get some candles. But it is 2.45, so I think I'm just going to hang out on the couch. I don't know how many more chores I'm going to do today. We'll see. <laughs> um, but we're going to do smash burgers, I think, on the griddle tonight. Um, if the dogs don't eat them, sad joke or funny story. The last time we did smash burgers, our dogs ate three of the balls of the round um, of the ground beef, the raw ground beef, because we like turned our backs for a few minutes and they slapped it off the counter. So anyway, we're gonna try and do smash burgers without the dogs eating them this time. So. Also picked up a Brewmate um, tumbler uh, several weeks ago. I got this at another local boutique. Um, I've been wanting one of these. They have like the lid that you can turn so it doesn't leak, it's spill proof. Um, and I have really, really been enjoying it. This is the 30 ounce. They have a bigger one that's a 40, but I feel like 40 is really big. Um, but absolutely loving this and I love that the this is silicone and it's not like a hard stainless steel that you're gonna like hit your tooth on or whatever but that's that so i think i'm just gonna go sit on the couch for a few minutes and maybe eat a little snack and i'll catch up with you guys later okay so i have my curves in there and i'm just gonna pour some of this in
myself like an at-home facial. Um, a couple of things that we're going to be doing is um, dermaplaning. If you've never done this, I've been doing it for a while. It is called shaving your face. Um, sounds scary if you've never done it, but it is, um, it gets all the little peach fuzz off and stuff. So I just get these from Amazon. They're called, the brand is Tinkle. Um, I get like a huge pack of them and they last forever. They're really good for shaping up your eyebrows too. So, um, and then for like my face mask, I'm just going to use my Drunk Elephant. I can't find it. Here it is. Um, this is like the best at home treatment I have found and I've been using it for a very long time. It is from Drunk Elephant and it is the baby facial. It is amazing. So I'm just going to start by washing my face. Um, I did my skincare this morning, but on a little bit of these Be Goldie drops. Um, we went out and had Mexican for lunch. So I just did my skincare basically and put a little bit of stuff in my eyebrows. So I'm just going to wash my face and then we'll get started. So I haven't done this in a while, so you can see there is a bunch. Kind of gross, but I think most people have peach fuzz, but if you have any acne, um, you want to definitely stay away from it because this would not be good for it. So if you have any active spots you want to stay away from those difference just make sure you don't chop off an eyebrow um, because these are very sharp so you can also cut yourself so just go very slow um, and be careful when you're in your hairline too that you don't take off something that you don't want to take off gets off not only the little peach fuzz but like dead skin too so a lot of times I do this sitting at my vanity so I can get much closer to a mirror but this works too I 
lines up like that, I will just kind of run some more hot water over my face. Okay, I needed to sit down. So now that my face is clean and smooth, I am going to put on my facial for a few minutes and I'm going to attempt to use my steamer. I've only used this one time. I've had it several months. I got it on Amazon a while back. Um, so I'm going to try and use that while I have this on. We'll see. Um, just be aware if you do the dermaplaning and then do something like this, it's going to tingle a little bit more than it usually does because where you have exfoliated your face. Um, so if you have really sensitive skin, um, which mine is, my skin is pretty sensitive, but, um, I've been using it for a little while, so I think it'll be okay, but this will tingle, so just beware. I'm going to put a thin layer of this on and turn my little steamer on and let it sit on my face for maybe eight minutes or so. Eight to ten minutes, I think. They discontinued one that I absolutely loved, so I picked this one up. Just, I think it was during the sale. It is extremely thick, um, but I have been enjoying it so far. It's pretty similar to the other one, but I think this one's even thicker. And for my moisturizer, I use this Pharmacy Mask. Um, it's the Niacinamide Night Mask. This is a very interesting consistency. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I've had it for a while. I don't know that I would repurchase it, but it's not terrible. It looks like a gel, but it goes on almost, I don't want to say Vaseline, but it is just very interesting. Sometimes it can like, turn white on my face trying to rub it in um yeah so i've had that for a while it's the small size and i use it at night sometimes and something else i've been experimenting with is castor oil i'm sure you've heard people talk about this online recently um it is something that you can incorporate into your beauty routine. A lot of people use it on their eyelashes to help them grow or make them stronger. Um, so I've actually been using this on my eyelids, oddly enough. Um, I just feel like my eyelids look kind of not the best. And I wanted to see if this would help moisturize them. And I feel like they do look better. But I also have been putting this on my face. I just put a little bit on top of the moisturizer. And since it's still early in the evening, it will have plenty of time to sink into my skin because it is quite thick. It's very, very thick actually. Um, but you can use this for all sorts of things. There's lots of videos out on it right now. If you just Google castor oil, they will all come up for you and you can go down the rabbit hole of all the different things that you can use it for. Um, the main thing is it is an anti-inflammatory. So I've been putting it on some breakouts. If I get any little bump I see to start coming up and believe it or not, it helps. It's very strange to think of putting an oil on um, a breakout, but 
it has been working and I have been enjoying this for what little bit I have been using it.